The next meme that I'm about to show you, I do not endorse this. I do not believe in this. I am not an ableist. I'm just showing you what people are sharing on social media. Okay? So this is the new logo for Hezbollah. So they changed it. Um, some people are suggesting that. Again, I do not endorse this at all. And this one, you know, pagers, they're saying when it was doing beep, beep, you know, when they looked at it, they're like your 72 versions are crying. <laughs> Again, I do not endorse. Oh, wait, I do endorse this one. What am I talking about? This is fantastic. Anyways, let me um, bring in some idiotic takes. How about that? Idiotic takes by AOC. So, Alexandria, Alexandria Ocasio Cortez saying Israel's pagers attack in Lebanon detonated thousands of handheld devices across uh, of a slew of public spaces, seriously injuring and killing innocent civilians. Innocent civilians. Are you sure, lady? Are you sure about that? Are you sure? Again, I have to have this meme ready every time somebody says that. Again, there, there's obviously some collateral damage, as in as it, as there would be in any any freaking attack, right? But this was the, as that other idiot said, one of the most precise and targeted ones, right? So then she continues. This attack clearly and unequivocally violates international humanitarian laws and under, undermines U.S. efforts to prevent a wider conflict. Hmm. Hmm. Wider conflict. A wider conflict. You mean let, you don't want you don't want Israel to take out Hezbollah, waiting for it to get more powerful, so that when the eventual war happens, it becomes much more difficult for Israel to take out Hezbollah. No, lady, that's not a good suggestion. So then she says Congress needs a full accounting of the attack, including an answer from the State Department as to whether any U.S. assistance went into the development or deployment of this technology. I actually agree with this last paragraph. There needs to be uh, there needs to be a full accounting of this attack so that other countries could use this as a role model, as a template. So this last paragraph is fantastic. Yes, please do an investigation, figure out how Israel managed to do such an incredible attack in one second pagers for all his bullets going boom boom taking out your enemy in such a targeted and precise way, first time done in history of modern warfare, please, please document the shit out of this so that other countries could learn from Israel. This is fantastic. Thank you, Israel, for showing us the way. But some other people responded to AOC's idiocy. Let's actually look at some other people responding to her. Let's go to this one. They did a better job than me responding to her, right? So this one is saying, oh, this is from APAC. This is, so did a search for Hezbollah and from ASC's uh, account, and basically nothing showed up. So this is AOC's first ever post about Hezbollah is to condemn Israel for killing Hezbollah terrorists. Not a word about 8,500 records since October 8th. So AOC never mentioned Hezbollah throwing rockets at Israel. Not a word about 12 Israeli kids killed playing on a soccer field. Not a word about which he, AIPAC is saying Iran, I would say Islamic Republic. Not a word about Islamic Republic funding and arming Hezbollah. This is very revealing. Yes, revealing. The hypocrisy here, guys. The hypocrisy. The double standards. And again, somebody else pointed this out. So. And then this person pointed out how, holy cow, AOC's first statement on Hezbollah, which has demolished Israeli towns, set tens of thousands to fleeing murdered civilians and brought our countries to the brink of war is about their pagers. Yep, that is very revealing. That is very revealing. Again, I'm leaving the most important post for last, okay? I'm leaving the most important post. Uh, because I want to show you, I, I promised you at the beginning of the show, something about eyes. 
act. I have to emotionally get prepared for that. But before that, uh, look at this one. So New York Post uh, had this beep, beep, boom, 2000, 2,800 Hezbollah terrorists hit by exploding pagers. Plot. It's not 2,800 anymore, guys. The numbers are much higher than this, but they posted this earlier, right? Um, and then this guy, this this guy said posting, imagine an Iranian newspaper featured the equivalent front page uh, if Hezbollah had launched the same attack on Israel. It would be presented as evidence of Iranian barbarism. I know it. You know it. We all know it. You fucking idiot, Owen Jones. You moron. If Hezbollah carried an attack in Israel, it would be at the civilians. It would target the civilians. And if it managed to carry out some military personnel, it would celebrate that as well. But it would be targeting civilians. When Israel is doing an attack in Lebanon, it's targeting Hezbollah members. And it considers every civilian casualty a tragedy. That's the fucking difference. You are supporting barbarism. Um, there's that. But now, the most important of them all. The most important of them all. Okay, so let me bring that super chat that we got. Saying an eye for an eye. Yes. An eye for an eye. We're going fully biblical today, guys. So a lot of Iranian people are celebrating, you know, in a different way. So I there's a lot of jokes, there's a lot of memes, but some Iranian people are celebrating like this. Because, like I mentioned to you at the beginning of the stream. When these pagers went boom boom, apparently they were beeping first before they went boom boom. So a lot of these Hezbollah members looked at the pagers and it blew up in their face, and many of them have went blind, right? And Hezbollah is basically an arm of the Islamic Republic. The same arm of the Islamic Republic who, who during the Mahsa revolution, blinded a lot of Iranian people in the streets purposefully target shooting at their eyes shooting at their face on purpose right many of them went blind so this is how a lot of iranian people are celebrating especially especially because one of the people who were injured was iran's ambassador in lebanon and he got uh, an explosion in his face as well these are the these are the pictures some of the many of the Iranian people who during the protests that they were having against the regime, the government shot at them in their face. And there's many more of them. There's hundreds of them that, that this happened to. And now Iranian people, they always said, you know, Iranian people sometimes say the world is round. And then when they say the world is round, what it means that it will come back to you. And now a lot of them are posting this, the world is round. So you were trying, you were blinding Iranian people, and now you're being blinded. And this is why more and more Iranian people are celebrating Israel, because Israel is doing to their torturers what Iranian people cannot do themselves. The Iranian people cannot do this to the Islamic Republic, and Israel is doing this to them, and that's why Iranian people are celebrating Israel. So this caption by uh, Kave Shahruz is saying. Uh, per the New York Times, Iranians, Iran's ambassador to Lebanon, Mushtaba Amini, lost one eye and severely injured his other eye when a pager he was carrying exploded. It was Iranian regime policy to shoot women life freedom protesters in the eye. Rarely is karma, uh, is karma so perfectly exact. And here's another important point that I want you to take with you before we end the stream. Why, why would Iran's ambassador in Lebanon have a Hezbollah pager? I hope you understand the significance in the, of that. Okay, I don't think I need explaining this. But just ask yourself that. We're talking about Iran's ambassador in Lebanon. Why would that man have a Hezbollah pager? So, let, guys, look at this. This is uh, the octopus. The head of the octopus is IRGC, basically the Islamic Republic's 
military unit. You know, this is the Islamic Republic is the head of the octopus. You can see the symbol is the IRGC. And all these other tentacles are uh, Hash the Shabi, Kataab and Hezbollah, uh, the Houthis, uh, no, Kataab and Hezbollah, and Fatimiyun, and all these other proxies are basically the tentacles of the main, the head of the octopus, right? So that was basically what uh, Tori was referring to. And then let me show you two more memes that just came to me. <laughs> okay. Oh, this is so good. Oh, this is such a happy day. Let me see. Oh, wow. what the hell? I'm getting more memes. So many more memes. They're calling them pager martyrs. Pager martyrs. Apparently, they, apparently Hezbollah has erected a statue in honor of their pager martyrs. Some people are saying that uh, some of the people who who died, if they go to heaven, what are they going to do without their uh, penises there in heaven, given that like they're supposed to have fun and they're supposed to have sex, but they're apparently not able to. Hold on, let me see what else do we have. Why is this? Why are these coming now? Oh my god. Oh yeah, this one, a lot of people, I already showed you a meme like this one at, earlier in the stream. Where a lot of people are now making this is the a theme that a lot of people are showing. There's more of this. <laughs> the last one I showed you were pagers. Now they're showing it with walkie talkies. No, no, this is not a meme. I want to show you this to know that these are not just there's this is new this is Iranian news saying what the hell? This leftist Iranian is, I think, crying about that. Oh my God, this is so stupid. I'm going to cover this in the Persian show. This uh, leftist Iranian is blaming the Iranian monarchists for making fun of um Hezbollah for lo losing their penises and she basically claiming that this is uh patriarchy misogyny anti-woman insult to women insult to men she's trying to turn this into a whole like yeah guys in Iran we have some we have wokeys we have wokistanis in Iran as well she's uh, sh this Iranian woman is basically offended by all these other Iranians celebrating Hezbollah's peepees going boom boom Oh, I like that. Hezbollah PP going boom boom. <laughs> what the hell? 